What's going on guys? This is the new studio. I promise that intro was as extra as we're gonna be for this entire video. In today's video, I just want to share with you the space. I know I've already uploaded multiple videos in here as how-to guides and I've just kind of already been sharing this whole process on Instagram and everything, but I just wanted to give one proper tour, show you guys what this space is, what it's going to allow us to do and how it's going to impact the channel in the future. And before we do that, just hit 70,000 followers today and I wanna say thank you so much for that. Being able to upgrade to this space is honestly an extension of your guys' viewership because over the years, it's just afforded me a ton of new opportunities and growth as a business owner. So I owe being here to you guys and I just wanna say I'm really appreciative of everyone who continues to choose watching. All right, so let's go over the space. This is the main shooting area. It's a 25 by 20 foot area if you count where the ceilings get lower. And originally when we came into this building, it was a drop ceiling all the way across. But thankfully, I uh, took a wooden dowel and I poked up one of the drop ceiling panels and found out that it was 15 feet all the way over here. So that's what motivated us to move into this space is because we knew we could get such high ceilings and uh, once they agreed to us removing at least part of the drop ceiling, then we were good to go and we decided this was a place that we were gonna rent. And I'm really excited about those high ceilings. I think that's probably like the second or third top thing on my list. Um, the other space was 10 foot ceilings and there was no chance at getting any higher than that. So now we can do some interesting things. We can mount lights higher, we can mount lights on the steel beams up there. Just makes for a little bit more flexibility in the space with your lighting setups, which is really nice. Second thing that I'm super excited for is you can see the hard floors. Beforehand, we were on carpet, a very tight weave of carpet. And not only was that a pain to keep clean when you have, you know, sometimes people have like oil on their bodies when people are doing glamour shoots. Sometimes uh, we're shooting like confetti cannons or just eating in the space. It just gets so much crap in the carpet. And converting to this not only has the benefit of being way easier to maintain this space, but also, as you can see, everything in here practically is on wheels. So we've got a lot of these big stands on wheels. We've converted all of our C stands. Instead of the turtle bases, we put them on wheels. Um, we've got things like our posing cart, that's on wheels. And then my favorite thing is this new stand that we got, which is a junior stand. So it's actually bigger than your standard light stand or standard C stand. And this is a 12 foot one from Flashpoint that is probably way overkill for anything in the studio, but even something like a 1200 Pro setup with a 70 inch softbox is just very easy to move throughout the space. So really excited about the hard floors and what that allows us to do in here. Another thing is it really helps maintain the paper backdrops because when you have carpet, if you don't put something hard underneath that and somebody stands on it, you're talking like it's so easy to punch holes. There's just no level surface underneath that you're just gonna destroy paper. So it gets actually pretty expensive. Um, see a majority of our lighting equipment out here right now. One other upgrade that we did is the electronic background holders. We've got one over there and we've got one over here. We just got this one up yesterday. This is just a system that allows us to raise and drop the backgrounds without having to manually roll out anything. And we're still gonna go and put some weights on the bottom of all of them just so that they go up smooth and straight every time. But that's a huge upgrade because we're changing paper a lot in here and I think that's just way more convenient. Um, around the space beyond that, it kind of closes off and you can see that we have a drop ceiling over here, which isn't a huge issue in terms of shooting. Like it only looks like a 20 by 25 foot space, but the reality is, is your lighting might need to stop there, but I can walk all the way to the back of the building and still photograph straight through. In fact, I can actually step out the back door all the way here and I can still see clearly both sides of my background. So I can get so far away, I could use a 400 millimeter lens if I really wanted to and don't feel limited in any way with the space of this studio. And so other than that, we've kept a rather open format. We've got a little space over here where we uh, stab fruit with knives and um, you know do work. Our computer desk over here is a work in progress. We're still waiting to get some electricity routed to the bottom so that we can clean this up. Right now you can see our UPS system is just a mess and all these cables right here. And that's because this place used to be a spice dealer and uh, Indian 
cuisine dealer for like the ingredients for Indian food. And so they had a ton of coolers all the way down here. And that's why their electricity was mounted up there. So we had to get an electrician in here to get us some power down here on this lower level, just so we can clean this whole mess up. And uh, we've got a big TV in case we are either tethering and we want the model to see it, or if we're presenting anything to a client, we feel they need to see it. So that's what that's in here for. Other than that, just kind of a spot where you can sit and meet with your clients. Back here is still a little chaos. We built this whole shelf system, and by we, I mean Chris, one of the partners of the studio, built this whole shelf system. Um, he drywalled it. A few of us lended our hands for uh, painting it and finishing it. But yeah, this is going to be prop storage, but right now it still has like a lot of our tools and lighting equipment and stuff that we're using to finish out the space. Like you can see, I've got a whole shelf full of beauty dishes over here. Um, this is for a project that I'm working on to uh, basically be able to move any of my modifiers around the space. So I'll make a separate video on that. But yeah, it's chaos right now, but this is where all of our prop storage is going to be. Now if we go across the way here and you come in here, this is a very simple changing room slash makeup station. So we've got a styling chair here. There's enough space in here that we can have a stylist in here like working on somebody, doing everything they need to do before a shoot, or somebody can just come in and do their own makeup. We installed this countertop. This is like a, it, it, I'm sure it doesn't look like real granite, but this granite looking top was like 60 bucks and you just cut it to the width that you need. And then we installed the mirrors and everything. Um, full length mirror over here, just so somebody can check out their outfit. There you go. You can see how you look from head to toe before you shoot. So this just gives models their privacy and a place for them to get ready for any shooting. And then to the right over here is just kind of uh, the stuff that we haven't found a spot for or a permanent spot for yet. These are shelves that we brought from the old space. And so the over there, this was all stuffed in the closet and we had like all of our lighting equipment in there. And it was kind of a pain because we were always running into the closet to like grab some beauty dish or some soft box or anything. So that's one thing I really want to change here is I just want all of our modifiers and equipment to be easily accessible on the shooting floor. You can even see right now, I've got like all my reflectors in the window back there and um, almost all my stands and everything are just all over there. So I don't have to constantly run back here, but we do still have some extra equipment back here, like extra cables, some reflectors, um, bigger reflectors. We've got a lot of extra glow soft boxes down here. Uh, speaking to the glow soft boxes, that was one decision that I made here is I didn't want any of our grand paras. I have like every size of grand para, but I didn't want any of those to be here because in addition to me and my partners using this space to shoot, there's also going to be renters coming in here. So we've got like digital access to the doors so people can just come in remotely. We can open the door remotely and let people in to rent the space if they need to do a photo shoot. And uh, those deep paras are really difficult to open. So I didn't want anything to be really difficult for people when they come in and start using all this flash equipment for the first time because what's great about like the flashpoint or godox lineup as well as all this easy lock equipment is that it all works together right every single light in here in this room works together and all these soft boxes will all fit all the lighting that we have in here so it just makes it really simple for renters Just a few extra things over here that haven't been used as often. Like we've got a little shooting station, a little product table station. We've got extra backgrounds that still need to go up. I'm gonna be putting those up tonight so that majority of our paper backdrops are up. In the back right corner over there is a little charging station I've built. You can see like a bunch of 600 batteries and 1200 battery being charged right now. But all the accessories have been out here on the floor. Now, the thing that I'm most excited about this space is it just gives me a little bit more room to spread my wings and create different types of content that just were honestly impossible at the last studio that I was using. When I got into the last studio, I got there and I thought, this is good enough for me. For the occasional headshot that comes in, anything like that, this is good enough. I'll be able to get the work that I, need, that I get hired for, I'll be able to get that done. But here I was like, I want something and no compromise. I want the higher ceilings, even though I didn't need them for headshots. I want the higher ceiling so that I can do something wacky, mount lights to the ceiling, or not only me, what the other renters might need. So 
Yeah, this space is definitely beyond my personal needs, but it allows me to kind of make other comparisons for you guys, answer questions, maybe step into shooting situations that I otherwise would not really explore. And so I'm really excited to see what you guys want me to do in this space. So feel free to leave any comments. One of the biggest things that I kind of want to change with my channel is that up till now on this channel, I have made videos about gear that show it in the context of photography. I want to make videos about photography that have a little bit of context about the gear, right? So I want to focus more on technique and application of all these tools and just let the tools be a byproduct of that. Like we'll gloss over them, but I'm just really not as interested in sitting here and uh, breaking apart every product anymore. I just want to continue focus on shooting because that's what I really enjoy doing. So I'm looking forward to getting back to that. So with that, any type of like comparisons you want to see, laws of light, styles of lighting, any of that, let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to talk about that. But beyond that, thank you guys so much for continuing watching. Thank you for uh, allowing me to get this new studio and uh, hope you enjoy everything that we put out. Take it easy.